Hi, Pastor Nathan Decker with your hashtag Better Together Devotion for today. One of the things that I love to do as a pastor is I love to go to the Chamber of Commerce or Rotary Clubs or Key Clubs or all these different groups of business people and meet with them. And, and here is why. Uh, when I Before I was a pastor, uh, I, I worked in, in the world and I recognized aspects of the church in the work environment. People need to have a tribe to belong to. And so we, we do this wherever we are, whether it's the bar that we go to after work the, to watch the ball game, or, or whether it's you know, to, to the club that we're going to go work and, and do something positive in this community, or whether it's to uh, some group that we've got as, as a BNI or a, a, a ch connections group with the Chamber of Commerce that helps us network and helps us get business. What I've noticed in each of these instances that these folks don't just do business. They actually ask about one another's lives. They actually care about each other. They care for each other. They navigate with each other through the hard times of their lives, through the crises and things like that. They offer concern and care for one another. They act like church. They gather in a big group occasionally, like, you know, a big, huge meeting. And then they break out into small groups, kind of sounds like Sunday school, and they learn together and they care for each other and they promote each other. They network. They connect with each other. We as the church used to do that. In fact, the church was so important that back in the 1950s, when someone was laying out a neighborhood, they always put places for churches inside the neighborhood because they knew the neighborhood would need churches. A developer would automatically assume that this, this community is going to need a church. No developer does that these days. No developer is going to offer land to a denomination to go start a church in a community. It's not that important anymore. We have other ways that we network, other tribal, other ways that we create tribes to care for ourselves. In the 1950s, again, if you were going to be in business, you went to church because that was the place where you did some networking. It was expected of you. You had to go and be a part of it to do this. Not so anymore. In fact, I've heard too often times um, people rant and rave against and you shouldn't do contracts in business and church. That's, that's bringing the money changers into the temple. That kind of mentality. The church should do well in creating networking opportunities between people. We're about connecting with God, and we're also about connecting with each other. The church should create small tribes that care for one another. Whether they're small groups or, 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 or groups of people that meet occasionally that does maybe a social thing or a service thing or a study thing, but they gather together and because they're together often, they start caring for each other and take care of one another. The world does this. It, it doesn't do it quite as well, in my opinion, as the church does when we do it well, because we add not just the, the business and the emotional care, we also add the spiritual care. We as a church are called to be about creating networking and creating tribes within the church, little bitty churches within the churches, within the larger church, that care for one another, love one another, promote each other, and help each other on the journey of faith. And when we do, we're better together. Amen.